recently I redecorated my room and I finally love it. I've been like changing my room up constantly over the last few years and just never really got it the way that I pictured it until recently. So I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. It's been really requested and I've gotten a lot of comments and messages just asking me to show you around and show you my new decor and so I'm gonna do that today. So first up is my nightstand, and on that we've got a lamp and a little green plant that I call Steve, although I just made that up, so, you know, don't know if the name will stick. But I've also got my lotion and a little bit of melatonin, because your girl has insomnia, which is so much fun to deal with, and an oil diffuser. And I got this nightstand at, I think, Hobby Lobby, um, and it was on sale, and I just thought it was super cute. Next up we have my bed and I do a lot of my work here actually. I do like editing and I write songs and stuff here a lot and um, this is where I do a lot of my recording too. I'm um, just in my bedroom in general so yeah, that's my bed. It's really comfy. It's got some really cute throw pillows on it and my grandma actually got those for me as a birthday gift and um, they are so cute. I love them and she actually calls me a uh, songbird, that's like her nickname for me. So she's gotten me some songbird themed uh, decorations for my room and I've kind of made that a consistent theme and I actually love how it turned out. Next up, we have my other nightstand on the other side of my bed and ignore the batteries in the background. Um, I have some fairy lights hanging above my bed and just haven't figured out a way to cover up those batteries yet, but uh, it looks kind of messy, so just ignore that. But I also have some candles there on the corner of my nightstand and then my book that I've been reading, which is the Stranger Things Suspicious Minds book. It's really good if you haven't read it and if you like Stranger Things, I would highly recommend it. And just in front of that, I have what I call my blessings jar and it's basically just a jar with a bunch of pieces of paper um, that have like things that I'm thankful for written on them. So it's kind of like a gratitude list. And I'm trying to change my mindset because I've noticed I can be pretty darn negative sometimes. So I'm trying to become a more positive and optimistic person and that's a struggle, but uh, we're getting there. So next up we have my windowsill, which is directly across from my bed. And I've just got some greenery on here. Um, I bought a few fake plants from Hobby Lobby and I've also got a few tiny little birdhouses that I just thought looked really pretty and really cute and kind of went with the, the whole theme and the color scheme of my room. And to the right of my window, I've got this wall that has two of my guitars hanging up on it and um, above those is a neon sign of the moon and I just thought it looked kind of cool and I really wanted a neon sign in here for some reason. I don't know why, I just... I was on Pinterest and I saw all these neon signs in all these rooms and it just, I wanted one, so I got it. And sitting underneath my guitars is this collage that I made and I sort of just printed off all these pictures that I liked or that I felt I could relate to and just pasted them onto this piece of wood and just let it sit there under my guitars. Um, just ma mostly just to fill up that space because otherwise it would have been just a blank wall and I didn't want that. And the last thing that I have to show you is my favorite wall in my room and it's just got a bunch of fairy lights and some Polaroids and I've also um, thrown in just a few notes that I've gotten from my friends that I read from time to time just for nostalgia. I've got some of my artwork up, including a few canvases that I painted some of my favorite Bible verses on that I like to read um, just for encouragement and stuff. And I've also got some of my watercolor paintings up because the colors really go nicely just with the whole color scheme of my room, I guess. I also hung up a couple shelves the other day and just added a few plants on there and a, a painting on one of them and then my um, instant camera on the other, as well as some fake flowers, because I'm all about the fake flowers, apparently. And in between those is another sign that I bought from Hobby Lobby, and it just says the music company, and underneath it it says live music nightly, and I just thought it looked really cool and was very, very fitting for this room, considering the guitars and everything hanging up, and the fact that I am pretty much in here writing music all the time. 
And beneath that is this chair that I've had for a while that I um, write a lot of songs in and have filmed a few covers on and that kind of thing so you guys might recognize it. And to the left of that is a small little table that just has some candles and my speaker on top of it. And then to the left of that is another little bookshelf and I basically just decided to put some more flowers on top of there as well as another candle. And then it has my cinematic light box on top of it and um, you should totally do what that box says, just saying, just, just my opinion. And below that is a basket that just has some wires and cables and a few microphones as well as my um, audio interface system that I use for recording. And it's got a, another shell, it's a conch shell that my dad brought back from a trip that he went on and I thought it was really cool and really pretty looking so I decided to put that there. Um, and then beneath that is something that I made years ago and it's actually sort of like a, I guess you could call it a diorama, I don't know, um, of the Shire from The Hobbit because I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan and a uh, Hobbit fan, so I decided to make that. And I was gonna throw it away because like I don't ever really use it or like look at it or anything, but then I decided that the green actually looked really nice in here and it was something to fill up that bottom shelf because I had nothing else to put in there. And last but not least, I've got this Never Stop Exploring sign that I got a few years ago and um, I love it. So that's it, that's my room. And I just finished decorating it yesterday because I just hung up those shelves behind me that you can't see, but you'll know them for the video. But I hung those up yesterday and to me that was kind of like the final piece of the puzzle. So the room is done, it's done. I love it so much and I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I just wanted to give you guys a little room tour and ever since I started posting a few pictures of um, redecorating and stuff, you guys also really wanted a room tour, so hopefully this was good. I don't know, I've never filmed a room tour before, and uh, I don't know if I did a good job or not, but I tried. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button right down there. It helps me out a ton. Also, before I forget, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. Um, we hit it a week ago today, or the day that this video is going up, and I am just so thankful and so just, like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I might make, like, an actual milestone video for that. Um, I haven't really decided yet, but I do want to just say thank you, and it means so much to me that you guys would take the time out of your day just to watch my videos and to be here and to leave comments and send me messages and stuff, and just the fact that you're doing that with your time and choosing to do that is just so cool and so encouraging so thank you guys so much and um i'm not gonna ramble on or get like all cheesy <laughs> but i did just want to say thank you and i will see you guys very soon bye